All right, my name is Andrew Kadugan, and this course here is Network Management 1. And we are doing the introduction to Routing Basics in the CCNA exam. We begin by opening up Packet Tracer, which is already open here. I'm going to load a generic router, a PT router, onto my interface. I'm going to leave the default name Router 0, and I'm also going to load an end device, a PC, as well on into my plane. What we're going to do here is basically connect the router to the PC using a crossover cable and then configure, configure the interfaces on both of them. So I'll go to my connections. I'm going to select a crossover cable since we don't have an Ethernet port we're going to select crossover cable. I'm going to select the fast Ethernet port on my PC, PC0, and collect it to the first fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port on my router. Now, because we haven't learned any of these commands and it's very, and it's at the beginning of the semester, we are going to use the GUI tool to configure the interfaces on these both devices. So I'm going to double click on the PC, PC0, and I'm going to go to my desktop tab, and I'm going to set up an IP configuration, and set up a static IP address on the interface fast Ethernet on my PC. And I'm going to type 192.168.1.1. I'm going to select the default classful subnet mask. And I'm going to set up my default gateway and fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 for my router as dot 1. So I'm going to go 192.168.1 and dot 1. I'm going to leave the DNS server out. So I've configured the interfaces on PC0. And if I wish, I could double click on PC0 and go to my command prompt. And I could set a ping command my loopback address to make sure that my interfaces are set up properly first and foremost to make sure that my network adapter card is functioning and then I could use the command IP config slash all again you would see with this command you see all the interfaces are being set up on fast Ethernet for my PC I'm going to configure the router interface now and again because at the beginning of the semester we are just going to use the GUI tool to configure the router interface. So I'm going to go to fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and I'm going to put an IP address of 192.168.1.1 as my router address. And as you can see, when we look at the bottom of the um, the, ISO, the iOS commands to the router, is they generally generating these commands for us but again it's very early we're going to use um, the GUI tool just to do basic routing and to set up these interfaces and we're going to set our port status as up alright again if we go to our um, iOS command line interface you will see that some of the commands that we're going to be learning a little later down in the course enable to get into privilege exec mode configuration terminal to get into global configuration mode and we have set up interfaces and fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 to get it with an IP address and a subnet mask and we use using no shutdown command to bring up the interface if you click away from here we're going to notice that both PC 0 and router 0 lights are green so we could ping between the two of them to make sure that communication taking place so we could go to our command prompt on the PC and we could ping our interface our router interface our gateway to make sure that communication takes place between the two of them we're going to complicate things a little bit by putting up our next end device or other pc so we're going to take up a generic pc here and put it onto inside packet tracer 
and we also use another connection a crossover cable to connect from the fast ethernet port on pc1 to fast ethernet 10 on the router interface we'll also configure the interfaces on pc1 just like what we did for pc0 i'm going to go to desktop configuration go to ip configuration and i'm going to see that at ip address of 192.168.5.100 select a subnet mask of that is classful slash 24 and the default gateway would be 192.168.5.1 this should be the default gateway for this pc in which you're going to set up that particular interface on our router so again we will go back again to the router and we're going to select the gui tool and we'll go to fast ethernet one slash zero which we use and we'll set up this PC1 default gateway as 192.168.1.5.1 and keep our classful subnet mask and we're going to put up the port status as on. Here we should be able to ping from PC0 to PC1. And PC1 is supposed to be able to ping its own interface, its own default gateway. So we're going to test this configuration by double clicking on the PC and go to our command prompt. And we're going to ping its own interface by pinging the default gateway 192.168.5.1. Right? We see that it's going to ping its gateway. And then we're going to ping. PC one to make sure that the connections has been set up between both PC zero and PC one. As you could see, PC one could have successfully ping to PC zero, and again, we also could ping PC zero successfully to PC1 5.100 and it is successful in examining why it is that we could successfully ping from PC0 to PC1 we'll take into consideration a command that I'm going to show you all all right i'm going to press ctrl c to go back out to this interface the router interface i'm going to type a command called show ip root to look at the routing table of the router and we, as we could see that the router has two directly connected networks as you can see denoted by c it has a default gateway that goes to the one network and it also has a default gateway that goes that is directly connected to the five network so this is why pc0 could successfully ping to pc1 because in the routers interfaces they are two directly connected networks in terms of a default gateway that takes packets to pc0 onto pc1